Hey guys, and you're welcome to Check My Guns. My name is Karl, and today we'll talk not about one particular gun, but about Czechoslovakian farms industry. And why? Because people abroad, and also here in Czech Republic, are getting all the things mixed up. What's CZ, what's VZ, what's Brno, which gun was made in which factory. And I cannot really blame them, because it's quite difficult and complicated. So let's check it out. As usual, we'll have to start with the history. There were many smaller and bigger farms companies in newly formed Czechoslovakian state after the First World War. And I will talk about the smaller ones in another video, but today we'll focus on two biggest ones. Zbrovka Brno, as Brno Farms Company, and CZ, Česká Zbrovka, which means basically Czech Farms Company. By the way, I'll be showing only map of Czech Republic, not whole Czechoslovakia, because all the companies I'll be talking about are placed in Czech Republic nowadays. So, sorry Slovaks, maybe next time. Zbrojovka Brno was established in the year 1980 in Brno city, which was the second biggest city in Czechoslovakia. And it was made by transformation of Austro-Hungarian artillery workshops into the modern firearms company owned by state. And they started using this logo, which is a Z in a spiral as a, as a thread in a barrel. And this uh, firearms company was pretty successful and very, very fast become one of the biggest and most important companies in uh, Europe, producing famous VZ24, VZ26 machine gun, uh, cooperating on brand machine gun. And yeah, it was, it was very successful and important to uh, remember, independent and state-owned factory. And now let's talk about Česká Zbrojovka or CZ. Firstly established in the year 1919 as a South Bohemian firearms company in the city of Strakonice. Strakonice is a city in the west part of Bohemia. And in the year 1922, when it merged with other firearms companies, it was renamed to Česká Zbrojovka v Praze, Czech firearms company in Prague, even though it was still in Strakonice. And they were producing not just guns, but also bikes and motorbikes, and it was all using this logo. And this reminds me of Benelli company, where you can buy a shotgun and motorbike made under one brand. And here it was the same, you could buy a motorbike and pistol, for example, made by CZ, which is pretty cool. The next important thing happened in the year 1936, when it was decided that Strakonice factory is just too close to German borders when Germany was a real threat. So it was decided to create a new factory further from the Germany borders in Uherski Brod, right here. And all these firearms companies were private owned or state owned, but most important thing is that they were completely independent from each other. So what happened next? Well, Second World War, which was definitely not an easy period of time. All gun production was under the control of Nazi Germany. But the most important thing happened after the Second World War in the year 1946, when all firearms companies and all gun production was nationalized, which is even before the communists took over, took the power in the year 1948. And most of the confusion comes from this time, because all these farms companies were forced to work together under control of state. So it was pretty normal that one company developed one rifle and second company was the manufacturer of it. And also logos were used by all these companies. So you can have one gun made in CZ with a logo of Brno and other way around. So it's really complicated. I was able to find this list of logos used by CZ over time. And you can see that they are, <laughs> they are basically all logos. So you cannot be really sure in which factory your gun was made just by looking at the logo. You have to look it up the model and find which factory was making this model. But in some cases there were multiple factories making the same model. For example, a CZ50, which was made in a CZ factory in Strakonice in between years 1950 up to year 1953. But then it was decided that CZ in Strakonice is still too close to the border, this time not just Germany but western part of the world. 
So uh, the firearms production was ceased, was cancelled, and whole production of CZ50 was moved to Uherski Brod. Okay, so now it's time to talk about designation VZ or CZ. So it seems logical to me that VZ as a VZOR followed by two numbers. By the way, these two numbers are not the year of production, but the year when the development of the gun is finished. VZ is used only for models that were made for Czechoslovakian army. So be careful with what you call VZ or CZ. For example, you have the famous CZ-75, which was never accepted by Czechoslovakian army. So you cannot really call it VZ-75. But of course, there are exceptions. For example, the family of submachine guns SA-23, 24, 25 and 26. This is completely different. They were made for military, they were made for Czechoslovakian army, accepted and developed in year 1948. So they should be called VZ-48. But for actually no reason, they were renamed to SA-23 up to 26, depends on caliber and if it has a folding stock. But yeah, that's, that's a huge exception, no one knows why. There are also other exceptions like CZVZ 36 and 45 and CZVZ 50 and 70. Those pistols were never made for military, but they are still marked VZ. But in most cases, this rule works. I can only think of one reason why they did it, and that is to confuse probably enemy, but they confused everybody. By the way, the UK 59 was made by Zbrojovka v Setin over here, which was a factory created by Zbrojovka Brno. So it was another part of this huge pack of firearms companies uh, working under the state control. And also there's one more thing about uh, firearms made for Czechoslovakian military. Because on those firearms you cannot really find a brand name or factory name or logo of the factory. So how you can tell in which factory it was made? According to military codes. There is a code for CZ in Strakonice, which is RID. There is a code for CZ in Uherski Brod, which is SHE. There is a code for uh, Zbrojovka Vsetin, which is CZO, and also for Zbrojovka Brno, which is TGF. So if you look it up, this code on your rifle, pistol, or any firearm, you can be sure that it was made in this factory. Doesn't matter under which brand or logo, which is pretty cool. Okay, so from now on, when you see a catalog like this, you will understand why there are so many logos and brand names and everything, because it was just a big mess pack of companies forced to work together. But what happened after the Velvet Revolution when Czechoslovakia got rid of the communism regime? Well, this pack of companies basically fell apart and these companies got really separated and independent and start creating their own guns and they start actually fighting over the logos and brand names. CZ in Strakonice was fighting with CZ in Uherski Brod because now these companies are completely different companies separated with different owners. So CZ in Strakonice got this logo and CZ in Uherski Brod got this one, as you probably know. What is interesting is that CZ in Strakonice wasn't making guns for many, many years, decades. But after the Velvet Revolution, they decided to go uh, with their production also back to guns. So they created a new brand. This brand is called Luvo and they are using the old CZ logo on their guns so you can still buy a gun with this kind of logo which is pretty cool and unfortunately famous Zbrojovka Brno went to bankruptcy in between years 2004 and 2006 and everything got sold buildings plants parts everything parts and plants were sold to Zbrojovka Holice which was basically a company uh, existing for just a couple of years and then it went to bankruptcy also. And brand was sold to CZ in Uherski Brod. So Zbrojovka Brno as a brand is now part of CZ in Uherski Brod. And what happened to the other companies like Zbrojovka in Vsetin? Well, they started their own path looking for their own customers and not everybody was really successful with this. So what is the conclusion of all this? Well, not every gun made in Czechoslovakia or Czech Republic is CZ. And not every CZ was made in a CZ factory. Easy, isn't it? All right, guys, I know what you're thinking. This video is boring. Yes, we should look at some guns. So let's do that. Let's look at some guns with interesting logos. 
Let's start with a CZ. So here I have a semi-automatic shotgun with a beautiful logo of CZ. This is the old logo now used by CZ in Strakonice. But actually CZ in Herski Brod was using it till the year 1995 according to their agreement. But it was used extensively over the time. Here I have for example the CZ50 which was made in or manufactured in uh, CZ in Strakonice and also in CZ Uherski Brod in both cases with this type of logo and if you look at nowadays the more modern logo of CZ in Uherski Brod everybody knows it this is how it looks so here so those are two different types of logos of CZ Uherski Brod and today of CZ in Strakonice. So they were together as one company using both logos and they got separated after the Velvet Revolution. So also they had to use uh, different logos. With Zbrojovka Brno it was easier because it didn't change that much. So here we see Zbrojovka Brno, Národní podnik. And if we look here, here is the logo of Z in a spiral with Brno and the model of the rifle. If we look at the, for example, shotgun made by Zborovka Brno. This is over and under with a Z again in a spiral. You can see it also on barrels with Brno on it. But what changed after the Velvet Revolution was the name on their guns. So here we have a gun made in Czech Republic already, not Czechoslovakia, still with Z, but name is Brno Arms instead of Zbrojovka Brno. This is a very interesting rifle and we will have a special video about this one later on. So let's look at codes used on military firearms. With military codes on Czechoslovakian firearms it's pretty easy. If you look here, we have SHE, which is a code for CZ in Uherski Brod. There is a no logo or brand name or anything else on the rifle, which was typical for uh, guns made for Czechoslovakian military. Other than that, we have here CZ, VZ52, pistol CZ in Strakonice because of the code RID, which was the military code for CZ in Strakonice. And you probably noticed that I covered the serial number because that's what owner asked me to do. And for Zborov Cabernet, here we have the code TGF. So TGF is the military code for Zborov Cabernet. So this 22 rimfire was made for Czechoslovakian military and there's nothing else, just this code. So that's how it works with codes. And there is actually one more code I'll show you. And that is this code on UK 59, CZO, which is the code for Zbrojovka in Vsetin, which was established by Brno Farms Company. Okay guys, I hope this video helped you to understand a bit more about Czechoslovakian and Czech firearms industry. And if you like this video, press like and subscribe and we will see each other next time.